ओके वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून आई दिस इज माई फर्स्ट टू गिव लेक्चर ऑन दिस टिबेट एंड आर्ट एंड ऑल दिस थिंग एंड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई होप आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू गिव यू to talk on tibetan art iconography and so many things are here in my topics and i can't give detail about the thanga paintings and iconography because we have a large number of deities in tibetan so if i go to each deity so it will take a lot of time and this is my first time and i also feel uh, some nervous <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you okay So my name is Kunga. I'm just I'm just pursuing the Enfield on Tibetan art. Okay, and I also been a conservator for the uh, painting. So I'm going to uh talk more about the Tibetan. Uh, I mean the Thanga painting, mostly Thanga painting. actually we have a sculpture and also we have a different kind of mandala so many arts in tibetan so i'm focusing on the thanga painting only because this is my field and i know little bit about the paintings and all these thing but i'm not much uh uh much um, know about the philosophy very detailedly because uh, it's a buddhas philosophy and it's a very big subject for me <laughs> but i try my best <coughs> Okay actually ah uh, thanga now i'm going to pay, uh, talk about the thanga painting it's a painting scroll painting and most of you maybe might know about the painting thanga painting actually we make this from the pure cotton cotton and we are not uh, we also made our cotton the canvas our own self and we also use the pigment natural color not the synthetic one but now they the so many artists they using but in our university we have a thanga painting department we also use a natural color and we also have a that icono iconometry each deity have a different kind of the measurements and all this thing okay this is the iconography what uh, no is uh, yeah iconography as you i did in that uh, a branch of the art art history to study the identification descriptions and the interpretation of the concern of image the subject depicting the particularly composition on the de details used to do so and another elements that are distinct in the artistic for art artistic style uh, now this is the i i don't know whether it is a very sim uh, that a sacred geometry and all these thing but we have our geometry but in in painting till now we never saying that uh, it's a geometry and all these thing because this uh, uh symbolism and i got a knowledge about this is the geometric way and all these thing because till now we are only making the painting but it is a uh, sacred but not about the geometric and all these thing but now it is a uh, this is a measurement of the buddha it's a measurement we all thick say thick say Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe in Sanskrit because I am I don't have much knowledge about Sanskrit and uh, all this thing. <laughs> But yeah, we also say there is a tikte, and we have a male, female, and the uh, uh, other deities have a different kind of female. All the males mostly comes into the Buddha. Uh, actually, this we have a very I I I don't know whether you people know about it, the origin of Buddhist. uh pendings we have a st story about uh, one story that uh, not only this uh, buddhist B uh, tibetan story but is uh, in uh, indian in it is comes in indian and but the that we also tibetan we say the jiktsul the king and he also used to uh yeah he also yeah or uh, the king jiktsul the rule over the king according to the dharma, with the dharma the son of son belong to the barma a brahman family uh, met his untimely death and the father of the father of sons approached to the kings and, and because of kings not ruling over the kingdoms in the spiritual way so that's why his son was dead so he's complaining all these thing to the that uh, 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 king 
and later they went to the lot of a uh, lot of death and also they argue about his son dead and all this thing and later the the king uh the then uh okay i i don't remember the name of that uh, the uh, yama the lot of death he said that it did not uh, the life is not taken by the king but it due to the uh, exhaustion of his own karma so that uh, brahma uh, brahma suggests to the king to make a portrait of that little boy and they also they make uh, some spell of jadu or i don't know magic then it's come fr- uh, the life again so on that started this art will form in the wall so they saying like there is a story i don't know whether it's a mythologies and uh, uh, real things i'm not sure but i heard and i also saw this old in m- number of books in in also in the english and also in, in tibetan okay now is uh, now i the first painting in india because tibetan painting is most related with the indian philosophy and all these thing so maybe also they have a one story maybe you maybe you people heard this before the bimbasara the king bimbasara and uh, uh, one of his friend he used to give uh, send a gift to each other so one uh, bimbasara would then give the beautiful jewels and to the king bimbasara so in response the king bimbasara also uh, idea to send the portrait of the buddha on this is story uh, on the life of buddha during the period of buddha so the king request to the buddha to make a portrait of a uh, uh, buddha so but due to the reflections so it's very difficult to make a portrait so they request to buddha to stay in front of the pool water so reflection of water so they make artists make the sketch of buddha so they send this to the king or uh, his friend so this kind of the king uh, this kind of painting also become the one of the painting th- during the life of time of the buddha so we also use this time as a uh, tomba chulemma because tomba is a buddha chulemma is taken from the water the reflection of water this kind of story also came from uh, the during the time of buddha so now beginning art of art painting in tibet uh, now this is very Uh, it's very difficult to uh, talk about the tibetan art uh, painting in uh, in tibet because actually we most of time we saying that the t- t- uh, tibetan painting are all come from the nepal china and india actually as my point of view because as an artist and i also uh, searching some um, the truth meaning of art in tibetan because we have a indigenous re- religion that is called bon religion and people are most of time say that the tibetan art also come after the 7th century because the buddhism come into the tibet and later they become a very popular in t- influencing of india and they also king sonse gambo he also brought a one princess from the tibet uh, no nepal sorry and one is from the Ch- china so they are also influencing of in nepal and china art all come to india but before the king sonse gambo we have a indigenous religion it is bon religions i think they have a bon culture and they are painting and uh, maybe because we till the now day they we found a, some kind of the portrait and uh, it marks all this in from the archaeology service so and now we right now we are making painting is uh, after the <coughs> 7th century because Kong, king songsik but because these are mostly related with the tibetan buddhist buddhism and now this is a maybe you might know that this is a thanga painting uh, it's not a that much complete thanga painting this one actually we have the framing but it is not a complete framing you have a silk frame and also this only used mostly used for the practicing of puja and meditations not for the decorated and all these things but but uh, now they most of the painting they are using for the decorated and they also uses for commercial also but according to the philosophy we are not using this thing in a commercial and also decorative piece even we are in a, a, in philosophy when the artist make a thanga painting they they offering all this painting to the uh, monastery 
and for the ritual ceremony and some for purpose of the puja and all these things. But nowadays they're demanding, the artists demanding for the monies and all these things. Okay, the only, uh, I just, uh, Tibetan Bud Buddhism has uh, assembled an amazing iconography symbolism. The explanation in the documentary can be, yeah, it's very difficult to explain in a very short period of time. So physical trains of the pr uh, primary deities should be, now here we have a, okay. Uh, actually some bending have a lots of deities around the hair and the scenery and all this. The most pr uh, primary deity will be the, in the center part. Okay, now this is the figurative uh, forms in Tibetan. As a young artist, we all, mostly we started from the art in these three way: the Buddha, Tara, and Vajrayani. Because most of the male deities comes under the Buddha, Buddha, and the, the female, mostly female, they come under the Tara. But some female deity have a number of heads and hands. But they will the, the men. Important is that measurement should be in this form, uh, females. And the wordful and some other deities, the smallest one, they must come into the Vajrapani. We have a uh, different, different, uh, we have a different measurement for each, each uh, goddess. Now, iconography of the Buddha, as we know the most of iconography, the image of Buddha distinguished in a various different ways. The Buddha is usually shown in the stylish pose and asanas. Also importance are in 32 excellent signs. We have our 32, 32 major marks and the 80, 80 explanation of features we have. So most in Buddhism, we goes under this. Chen Sangbo Sunju, we have 32 Samsonyi, and Pecha Sangbo Geju is 80, 80 major marks. So under this, we, we comes all the uh, symbolisms and the figure deforms and comes under these things. And also Tara Devi. Tara also, we have a, now I also write in all these things, you can read it. And we have a, in figure we have, this is painting of my teacher. Uh, he made these paintings. Uh, we also use this uh, natural color, but it's not complete with the f uh, frame and all these things. So Tara, in Tara, I, I never seen the Tara both sides have a lotus. It's a purity form. It's just symbolized the purity and all this. But one left hand side, most of I've been in Orissa. I found in a lots of Tara sculpture and all these things. But they have they have only right hand. They have a uh, this lotus flower, but not in a left hand. But in Tibetan, we also make this in the Tibetan uh, paintings. So I never. Uh, Hurt or I never uh, get the why this this making this in this uh, right hand. The some people saying that the one of my masters told me that the Tara just hand is empty, so that's why I artists make the painting. Maybe, but they don't have a specific uh, knowledge behind this. <coughs> okay, now we have a Tara green Tara. Uh, okay. The Tara skin is green, for that is a color as I said with the wind, with the breath, and the, with the parana, and hence it's a moment and the active. She seated with her left leg folded, and her and her right leg ex uh, legs extended. For this is said that she is always ready to come swiftly and immediately to assistance of anyone who call out for her. The positions of our legs also reflect the integrations of com complete co contemplations and the actions. So most of the time, the Tara, we thinking that she will safely help to all the people. So that's why he's ready to uh, move. Now this is the Vajrapani. Uh, I don't know much about the Vajrapani because I never made this Tanga before. So if we are making the painting, then sometimes we get lots of knowledge because someone asking what is this is so, so I just got this from my friends and some of my teachers. So Vajrapani's show is a red full forms. He's standing in a virus standard 
to show his strength and determination. He is also showing his halos of a flame, which is a signify the transformations. His blue skin is a, yeah. His uh, skin is a colorful uh, skin is the color of a thunder cl cloud, and his bodhisattva crown is made of skull. He is wearing an animal skin around his waist and showing his fearless. In the right hand, Vajrapani is holding the light and bolt, and in his left hand, he's holding the lasso. The Vajrapani used to the lasso to the catch his enemy and the lighting the bolt to the smith them. The three eyes showing the ability to comprehend the past, present, and the future. So this is Tanga painting, so we make this Tanga painting. And the, uh, the center part, in Tibetan we say the melon, and in, in uh, English we say the mirror. The most important thing is this painting, only painting. And we also make the silk, and we have a cover. This one is cover. So here is, a, I make it so very easier to know about the Tanga paintings. So most of Tanga painting is also hanging, not to put in some frameworks and all these things. Uh, I, as I told you before, that we have a natural color. We're using most of time natural color. It's, it stay very long. It stay for many many years, and it won't be destroyed by the insect and all these things. But nowadays, some people they are using a glue of uh, synthetic glue. So some synthetic glue they in fact uh, they are destroyed by the uh, insect. Yes. So we also using a gold that is a pure gold. We also get this from only the Nepal, not in, I don't think it is India, but it's very expensive. So some uh, pure gold tanga is very expensive. And we also have a, that a cotton color, only cotton color we make. And some tanga, we have a silk tanga, silk. They're making from the silk and embroidered, and they're also some that uh, cutting the piece of silk and they attach to uh, the uh, canvas. Okay, this much. Thank you so much. I don't know whether you get on all show. Because this is my first time and I don't know, I uh, feel quite nervous. But you have made your own mark first time. Then I hope that you will continue your journey into infinity. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, and that is the way that we try to understand the message of Thanga. <laughs> so now yourself become thanga and we all are going to enjoy that thanga and color and message and all that thank you very much thank you okay. very much okay so we have two three minutes four minutes time some little bit query and encouragement and support nothing like big question <laughs> you can ask any question natural color okay natural color uh, most of time we get it is from the himalayan region yeah natural color and from where? Yeah, mineral, mineral, mineral. Uh, from rocks, uh, stone, stone, stone color. Oh, actually, we in Tibet, in the philosophy, we has in Tibet they are also using our plant uh, colors. Color, yeah. uh, but I never see these things. Uh, but we are using a that the stone one, stone color, and we taking from the Himalayan regions, and sometimes we get it from the Delhi. So we come, uh, yeah, not Rajasthan, I don't know, maybe we can get in Rajasthan, but I never been there. And uh, we also get it from the Delhi, Himalayan. So we take it and we make, make it our own self, and then we put it color. And we also mix with the glue. Uh, before we use, use uh, that uh, animal skin glue. In Tibet, we used to use this thing, but now, the, because I've been in a restoration study in Lucknow, and they told me that, uh, my pro one of professor told me that if you put uh, the animal glue, the insect will attack more. Because it's India, the humidity and the temperature is different in uh, Tibet. So, so we are now, we are not using, we are only using that uh, uh, plant, synthetic, not the plant, uh, the glue, uh, gum. Yeah, yeah, gum. Yeah, I don't know that. Like acacia, from acacia, then glue. Yes, we get yes, 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 that that's natural. one, yes. Acacia, indica. Oh, yeah, very, very nice question. Thank you so much. <laughs> because in Tibetan art the secret. Yeah. That is the secret not to be disclosed. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, because uh, uh, some of very, uh, 
long time back, I met a lot of Tibetan artists, and they told me that uh, Tibetan artists don't have a much freedom to make a different kind of paintings and all But yeah, because only the figure of the Buddha and the deity, we don't have a, uh, we don't have a, a freedom to do whatever you want. Because we have to follow the philosophy, we have to follow that uh, art philosophy or the Kanyu Tengyu, what they are saying. But we have a freedom to make the scenery, the more beautiful, the flowers and the background, uh, lawns, cloud. We have a freedom for only these things. But we don't have to make a different kind of Buddha. And some uh, last few years back, I've been in Nepal, they're making a Vajra, the, uh, Vajra some, you know, 600 Vajrapani. They also make, they're taking our laptops and uh, rifles and so many things. So, and, and sometimes, uh, and also I saw that uh, one, uh, uh, that red fool, uh, Vajrapani have a very, they have a skull in there. They put it on some terrorist pictures here. So, uh, yes, yeah, so. So this is, we, we don't have much uh, uh, freedom on making these uh, Buddhas and all the, the figure, but we have a right to make a more beautiful the outer the scenery things and all these because we have to follow the rule and regulation. We have a measurement and all these things. We can't go over these things. That's a good point that you are thinking like that and that is the issue of the real call of your heart and feeling that you can try to preserve the originality. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. That Not to be crazy of Indiana Jones and then going to put <laughs> and then you can do anything else. So that we need now. Yes. And whatever Nepal is doing or not, at least three, four countries, what is uh, I am experiencing yes. during last 10, 15 years working in Korea, China and Japan, they are just returning back to old tradition. Recently, uh, we have done some work interior side Japan and just imagine that they were not knowing this is the letter OM in the design form. They all are going and completely nothing like anything. Then I asked, what is this? I could not understand. Then I asked my teacher, then said, oh. just silence, you can do. Then I said, oh. And then 20, 30 minutes just pass, and something mind gone somewhere else. And then my master, Shoga Yohama, he asked, I have never been to India. I have heard something. I know only that people say ninth century, but it is sixth century. They say, where? Here is the something. And then we have gone, and then he requested me, look, this is not my subject. I am landscape architect in the manner. And then he said, could you please touch and feel that you are in India and say something, then just I prayed guy three. I said, please escape me somehow. They put me in a big trouble. So I went to, and I started the, doing the same. <laughs> but somehow some vibration came, and then very easily I can sketch that was all. Yeah. And now they are trying to come back. So this is just to tell you yeah. that uh, I bow my head before you. Yeah. That a young chap, we are old guy. We always preach others, never do anything. Our master, he also, I learned Buddhism under his foot. Okay. It is something like that. <laughs> that the Lama Ji is here, and he recognized me. I met him after several years. And I touched his feet yesterday, and he recognized me. So this is the way. What I mean to say, we all are returning back. It is not wilderness. Yeah. It is come close to the nature. You see the whole movement going on now. People realize that. And whatever you are trying to do, this is, I think, a great thing. Thank you, sir. It's not only in physical sense, conservation, preservation, as this so catchy word, sustainable. It is not like that. <laughs> it is new disease, new world. Earlier it was space, then came environment, now sustainable. Everything is sustainable. In Indian philosophy, nothing is sustainable. <laughs> but we always say sustainable development. You know, sustainable development program. Anyway, but you are coming to a very basic route. So I salute you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. I have no question. The only one, one just information I want to know from you. Because once I was editing a book on goddesses, Hindu goddesses, that in honor of a great master known as the father of goddess studies, David Kinsley. So in his honor, I published that book from Cambridge. And then I received an article talking about Tara. So you have mentioned Tara. And uh, that uh, author, 
having three levels, white tara, green tara, no, yes, yes. and then nila tara, yes. blue tara. Blue tara yes. And then with the color symbolism, okay, that was difficult to publish in color form because the whole book was black and white. But anyway, the giving that color symbolism, then life substance, like one example is blue, blue yes. sky. sky, complete infinity. Complete thing. So that type of all these natural symbolism attached in all that. Okay. So in that way, I have learned so many things. It is nothing like question. It is just to okay. pray Thank you so. that once you have to realize that old guys have always to pray young guys so that they can leave <laughs> that mashal and they okay. can leave the way. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So anyway, this is Trinity. Okay. Here is my master. Yes. Now me and now you. Thank you. <laughs> always three. Three. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so anything else because we have uh, we are going to have very good open session so i don't think the, anything if you want to inspire and give something food to him mental food thought food heart food bajirani food buddha food tara food please add something and let us welcome him anything you want to add yeah please tanga bending no, no, little bit, please make correction. You can ask that available in Sarnath, that is okay. If you say in Banaras, in Banaras, everything <laughs> is not duplicate, triplicate, quadruplicate, like this. No, there is no Banarasi sari, let me say frankly. I know this, I have worked this. And, they, and, and now, last word I can say just to conclude this that uh, Gharwala period, the great master, Raj Guru, Pandit Damodar Sharma, the book I have referred, that Ukti Vyakti Prakaran. That is the only book nobody can say in which dialect, language, or whatever tradition is. It is called Kashika, which is now no more. It is only in the slang. Kare, Sarvate, Kahais. If you can say like this, this is complete now abuse. But if you read those books, then you can find classical. These are all based on slang and deeper understanding. That is Samvad, a dialogue. Okay? So, Student is asking question, and then Guru, the Pandita Mother Sharma, the Acharya and Kuli Guru, he will give me answer. And everything is something like slang. The last was because time was going to finish astronomical, because Guru can speak only within that Kala Chakra and fixed time. And then that uh, Sishya said, Guruji in Nagariya, I am exactly citing, I will publish that from there. Uh, Guruji e nagariya ke ekke samadhiya re ka kahi. Oh my master, if I have to use only one word, with that word I can explain the total personality of the city. What is that? And then book is going to be closed. The last sentence in Sanskrit. The whole book is all that mixture. And last word is in Sanskrit. Thaga nama asthane itvara anase nagare. The seat of cheaters is known as the city of Aransi. Now it is up to you to explain what is that talk and cheaters. We all are cheating each other. If I know one word, then cheating him, he is cheating others. If you take that metaphor, then whole ideology you can understand. But if you are thinking in literal term, then something else is going to be. So how one can imagine that great master? Pandit Damodar Sharma writing like this. So many people just have question mark. First time in Hindi script that was published from Master Sam Khalari Ram in 1951. After that, no edition, nothing like that. So I consulted that book. So it depends on what we were, we were talking, contextuality, temporality, speciality, and traditions. <coughs> in that, that will think. Like one example is, in our local Banaras tradition, if I say somebody, who is just junior, younger than me, kahiye kya hal hai, aap kaise hain? The same word, aap kaise hain, how are you? When you say Hindi, you are not loving, not respecting. You are disrespecting that fellow. He is too young. And then in Banasi, kare sarva thik hai isla. It is looking like abuse, but the fellow will feel honored. This is contextuality, speciality, temporality, and the tradition. So I think the way you have tried to do, I learned a lot. And I feel something very much honored that's linking this. Three Astali said, 
Three has to be safety, there are three bridge. You know Prayag? That is the first bridge first going bridge. to the heaven. Second is Kashi. And third is Gaya and then go up. <laughs> <laughs> so we have made the bridge. So thank you very much. Just for I think this was only two papers, that, that was good. And no way I was associated to this thing. So somehow this is credit going, I, our discredit going, our, the great credit going to Jampaji, that he had jumped my whole personality from the theme general to Buddhist while Maruti Ji was here. <laughs> like chaos. Now he left that. He thought that ultimately they are not to listen so well. Anyway, thank you very much to all my very seniors, my Guruji and uh, my good friends and collaborator and to you and everybody because if there is nothing like good audience, if they are not smiling, they are not communicating like this, then what fun in this life? You say very serious thought and all people are shooting. Laugh, enjoy, relax, and then feel deeper. And you have done this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You look like a master of Banaras. No, no. I have one question. I am Bhana of Banaras. I am Banasi Bhana. This is a phrase that has come from the Banaras. No, no. This is the only city. I for a general history, I am not history. Okay, thank you, Professor.